let's go for the next topic. What do you take in the case of speed max here is nothing but square root. Uh, first of all, what is a square root? Uh, before that, let's understand the square. Already have discussed the point. Uh, multiplication of the same number in general we call it as what here? Uh, square. Uh, we, have, we have to take it one of that number. For example, square root of x square is nothing but x, x into x, x square. If you take one of the factor in that, we call it as a square root. How do you find out the square root? So when you are going to square root, first of all, we have an idea how the squares will be. That means, what are the unit digits that you get in the perfect square? Unit digit means the last digit. So depend upon that, easily we can identify perfect squares. So how do you take it? For example, 1 square is 1, ending with 1. 2 square is I can go for 4, 3 square 9, 4 square 16, end with 6, 5 square 25, 6 square 36, 7 square 49, like that, 11 square 121, 12 square 144, 4 ending, 13 square 169, like that. If you go for the unit digits, all the perfect square definitely end with either 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9. How these perfect squares will be there? Any perfect square you take it, Definitely it may end with 0 or maybe 1, maybe 4, maybe 5, maybe 6, maybe 9. Except that you don't get any other numbers. All the perfect squares definitely end with these numbers. Now look at how you identify the square root here in the sense. I will go with a simple three steps here. So and before going to that, let us understand whatever the method we are implementing. It's only applicable for the perfect squares. And look at how you take that in the sense depend upon their unit digits. So we know how the perfect squares end with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9. And let us understand how these square roots also end with. Uh, for example, if you go for this case, uh, 0, definitely 0 end with 0. 1, if I take it, 1, it may be end with 1 or 9. 1 square is 1, 9 square is 81. If you go for 4, 2 square is 4, 8 square is 64, 5, 5 square is 25, 6, uh, square root of 36, uh, it may be 4. And if you go for one more, square root of 196, it will be 14. So 4 square is 16, 6 square is 36, it may be end with 4 or 6. 9, 3 square is 9, 7 square is 9, again it may be end with 3 or 7. So all the perfect squares, which are ending with 0, its square root end with 0. All the perfect squares, which are ending with 1, its square root end with maybe 1 or 9. All the squares which are ending with 4, the square root end with maybe 2 or 8. All the perfect square which are ending with 5, 5, definitely square root end with 5. For the 6, it may be 4 or 6. For the 9, it may be 3 or 7. But 0, 1, 9, 2, 8, 5, 4, 6, 3, 7. I said already these are complementary pair. 1, 9, sum is 10. 2, 8, sum is 10. Yes, 4, 6, sum is 10. Cleaner. And 5 is only one number you can take it. 5 plus 5, you can take directly 10. And 3 plus 7, also 10. And look at all the cases 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 4 and 6, 3 and 7. For all the cases, again, the middle number also 5. Clear. Now, how to identify the squares here? Uh, let's go for a small example. I said there will be three steps here. How we identify? Now, the step 1. So, we have to find out the unit digit in that case. For example, if you go for 7, 5, 6, 9 here. So, what is the number that is ending with 9? So, if it is ending with 9, square root end with what? It may be 3 or 7. Na? So, it may be end with 3. Or it may be end with what here? 7. 3 square is 9, 7 square is 49. Now what do you do? Cancel the last two digits. Now check the remaining number is near to which perfect square? 75. 75 is near to which perfect square here? 8. Na? So I can take 10th place number is nothing but 8. So maybe square root of 7, 6 and 9 is nothing but 83 square or 87 square. Okay, na? Maybe 83 square is 7, 5, 6, 9. Maybe 87 square is 7, 5, 6, 9. But out of these two, how to identify which one is correct? Now, I said for all the cases, middle number is 5. Now, let's implement the same point here. If you want to find out 85 whole square. What is 85 whole square? 5 into 5, 25. Uh, this number already we have done. Complementary pain, na? 5, 5 is 25. 8 into next number you have to multiply. 8, 9 is 72. Look at why I have taken this 85 whole square in the sense. 85 square is 7,225. But what is our doubt? 7,569. Is it 83 square or 87 square? 7200 that is 85 if 85 is 7200 7500 means definitely more than 85 na? so that one i take it as 87 so simply the answer is nothing but 87 totally we have followed three steps step one we have to identify unit digit here 9 9 will come for 3 or 7 second step we have to cancel the last two digits and check the remaining number 75. It is near to which perfect square. 75 is near to 8. Na? So 8 is a tenth place. So maybe 83 or 87 is correct. 83 square is 7569. Or uh, maybe 87 square is 7569. But how to identify? In between 83 and 87, I am taking as a reference. That is 85 square. If you do it, I know it's a complementary pair. 
which I got it as 7,225. If 85 is 7,225, 7,500 definitely more than 85. That I am taking as 87. And look at one more point. Uh, second step, when you are taking nearest one figure. 75 I said, it's near to 8 I said. Uh, 8 square is 64 and I know 9 square is 81. Which one I have to take it means? The numbers which are from 64 to 81, it will be in 80 share. Once it is crossed, uh, once it is crossed 81, then only it will go into 90s. That means if you pick any number 8 square and 9 square, it will be in 80s. If you pick any number in between 9 square and 10 square, it will be in 90s. Like that you have to pick it. Uh, if you go for 64, 8 square is 64, it will be in 80s. If you take 9 square, 81, it will be more than that. If you go beyond 81, it will be in 90s. Which are from 8 square to 9 square, in between that, that will be in 80s. So simply how you understand that point? If you pick any number in between n square and n plus 1 whole square, if you pick any number in between n square and n plus 1 whole square, it will be always in the form of n. That is how you take it nearest perfect square. That is the second step. Clear. And just, I'll repeat all the three steps once in a simple way. Uh, let's check how we take it. 7, 5, 6, 9. Now first step. Uh, 9 will come for 3 or 7. Cancel the last two. Now 75 near to which number? 8. So maybe 83 or 87. So how we take it? This number. So I said 85 whole square. I have to find out. Actually, what I done, 85 whole square, I have done all this number. 5, 5 are 25, 8 into 9 is 72. But every time, no need to write all these things here. Simply, let us understand. This is in 7,200. This is in 7,500. So, we have to understand this base value, 72. How I got that? So, I have multiplied 18 into 9. I got 72. So, every time, directly, we'll take only this point. Directly, we'll multiply whatever the number you got it with the next number. 18 to 9 is what? 72. So, it will be in 7,200. The middle number between 83 and 87, it is in 7200. Whatever the number you got it here. If it is more than 72, I'll take this side number. If it is less than 72, I'll take this number. Actually, it is 75 more than 72, na? I'll take this side number. So, look at third step also, I'll repeat here. So, whatever the number you got in tens place, simply let us multiply with the next number. You will get the middle base. So, whatever the number here, if it is more than that, I'll go for more than 85. If it is less than that, we'll go for more less than 85, like that. So simply this is how we take it. So step 1, unit digit. Step 2, nearest perfect square. And step 3, out of two options, which one is correct? Simply this is the how to find out the square root. Clear. Uh, let's check the next example. Uh, square root of 2a double 2 4. If you want to find out this one. Square root of 2a double 2 4. 4. 4 will come for what? 2 or 8 na? I'll cancel last 2. Now the remaining number 282. How it is? Actually 16 square is 256. Uh, 17 square is 289. But if I take 17 square it will be bigger na? So I have to take it. It's nearby to 16. 162 or 168. How can you get the middle number? I said simply multiply 16 with the next number 17. When you are multiplying also 17 write as 16 plus 1. That will be easy. 16 6 is 256 plus 16 272. So 272 is the reference line, but I have 282. It is more than 272, na? So simply I can take the answer as 168. Simply I can take the answer as 168. Let's check next one. Uh, square root of 21316. Now 21316 means now 6. 6 will come for what? 4 or 6. So I can cancel the last two. I'll check the remaining number 213 actually 14 square is 196 15 square is 225 if i take 15 it will be bigger so i can take 14 144 or 146 how can you get the middle number i said multiply 14 into 15 so 14 14 sir 196 plus 14 210 so 14 15 are 210 that's the middle difference this is 213 it's 210 actually more than 210 so i can take the answer as 146 are you following here? Very, very simple. Taking a unit digit, taking nearest perfect square, and I've the two options which one is correct. Let's check one more example. 24025. Now, let's check. Basically, 5 will come for what? 5 itself. I have to cancel the last two. 240. It's near to which perfect square? 15. 15 square is 225. Na? So, I can write 155. Here, there is no second option. That means out of which one we have to take it. That means third step will not be there. Na? So, simply the answer is 155. How you take it? It's very, very simple. Let's take one more example. Uh, square root of 27556. Now, again, 6. 6 will come for 4 or 6. 
uh, if i cancel last two 275 is near to 16 square is 256 na so i can take 164 or 166 how can i get the middle number i said 16 into 17 which will be 256 plus 16 272 272 is the reference but how 275 here so it's more than that so again i can go for 166 is it clear how we are taking the cases now simply that is how we take it squares here so when you are taking squares first of all we have to understand what is the unit digit we are getting depend upon that unit digit we will take the unit digit of the square root and depend upon the number whatever the left over we will take the nearest squares clear so totally whenever you are taking square root whatever the method we are following here is an approximation method and the method we are getting it will be applicable only for the perfect squares and when you are taking the squares totally three steps i said first of all you have to find out unit digit and nearest perfect square and out of the two options which one is correct so simply that is how you take a square root is it clear uh, let's check uh, next uh, technique what you take here is nothing but cube roots so however you done uh, the square root similarly we'll do cube roots here so in the case of uh, square roots we have done approximation with respect to the unit digits and the same uh, in the case of cube roots also we do approximation with respect to the unit digits first of all here also understand what are the unit digits that we get in perfect cubes so what are the unit digits that we get in perfect cubes let's check if you take one by one for example if you take one cube that will be one two cube is eight and three cube is 27 four cube is 64 five cube is 125 six cube is 216 and seven cube is 343 eight cube is 512 clear 9 cube is 729 that means we are getting 0 to 9 all the numbers so that means a perfect cube might end with any unit digit it may be end with 0 10 cube is 1000 1 cube is 1 8 cube is 512 uh, 3 cube is uh, sorry 7 cube is 343 and with 3 4 cube is 64 and with 4 5 cube is 125 it will end with 5 6 cube is 216 it will end with 6 7 cube is uh, 343 that will end with 3 sorry and 3 cube we can take it here 27 and with 2 cube 8 clear and 9 cube 729 that means a perfect cube might end with any unit digit and similarly understand its cube roots also parallelly how it ends with let's if you go for the unit digits in the case of cube roots uh, for 0 you will get 0 cube root of 10,000 is 10 sorry cube root of 1000 is 10 and cube root of any number ending with 1 you can take it so that we get 1 so 11 cube is 1331 and with 1 so 8 cube 512 that is 5128 so here for the 2 we are getting 3 for the 3 we are getting 7 for 4, 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 125, 6 cube is 216, and 3 cube is 27, 2 cube is 8, 9 cube is 729. That means for 0, we are getting 0 as a unit digit 1, 1, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 9, 9. And only two cases are different. For the 2, we are getting 8. For the 8, we are getting 2. For the 3, we are getting 7. For the 7, we are getting 3. That's why the 2 have taken a different color. Clear. Except that remaining all the cases, we are getting directly same numbers 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9. All these are directly same numbers. 2, 3 will get uh, 8 and 7 parallelly. For 7 and 8 will get parallelly 3 and 2. So only these are the different complementary cases. The 2 also is a complementary. 2, 8 is 10. 3, 7 is 10. Clear now? So except that remaining all it will be same. Now coming to the point of uh, process here. Uh, how you take the cube root. Look at when you compare to the square root. Taking cube roots it's very very easy. Uh, basically in the case of square root we have followed 3 steps. Almost we will do same thing here. But a bit changes here let's check how we take the here for example uh, here also first of all we'll go for unit digit now let's check six will come for what six now we'll take the same way after that we'll cancel the last three digits we'll cancel the last three digits now check the remaining number is near to which perfect cube remaining number is near to which perfect cube 97 it's near to which perfect cube here four four cube is 64 but if you take five it will be bigger so it will be 46 that's it only two steps here step one is unit digit and step two is uh, you have to cancel last three this is unit digit and we have to cancel last three out of the number remaining it is near to which perfect cube that is simply how we take it is it clear uh, that is how we take it let's take one more example uh, 29791 again it's very simple as said first of all check uh, one will come for what so one will come for what so i said cancel last three now 29 basically 29 it's near to which perfect cube 3 it will be 31 clear now it's very very easier when you compare to the square root cube root is very very easy only two steps finding a unit digit and finding nearest perfect cube now 2 basically 2 will come for what 8 cancel the last 3 195 it's near to which perfect cube 5 na? 5 cube is 125 if i take 6 it will be bigger 
so we can get answer as 58 let's check one more and 250047 7 will come for what 3 so we can cancel last 3 so the remaining number near to which perfect you have to get 250 250 is near to what 6 na? so we can take 63 clear so totally that's with how to find out the cubes totally that's with how to find out the cubes we'll go for some more examples in the case of cube root here i said only two steps here na? so how to take the two steps so unit digit is a step one and taking nearest perfect cube is the next one na? so for example if you have one nine one uh, one one two so now two let's check i said two will come for what eight so cancel last three digits now 195 actually i know five cube is 125 6 cube will be 216. If you take 5, it will be near. If you take 6, it will be, it will be bigger. Na? So, simply the answer I can write as 58. Uh, let's check the next one. Uh, let's check one more example here. 250047. So, let's check. 7, it's a complementary pair. I said 7 will come for what? 3. If I cancel last 3 digits, now the remaining number, 250. 250 is near to which perfect cube 6. Na? 6 cube is 216. And if you keep 7, it will be bigger. So, I can take simply the answer as 63. Let's take one more example, uh, 15625, five. so 5, so 5 will come for what, I cancel the last 3, now check the 15, 15 is near to what, 2 cube is 8, na? I can take it here, so simply the answer is what, 25, clear, so simply this is how you take the cubes, how you take the cube roots in the case here, ma. totally only 3 steps, sorry, 2 steps here, uh, I'll just, under, uh, I'll explain the steps are, what is that, so step 1, uh, step one, what we are doing, we are finding out unit digit. And step two, we are cancelling the last three digits and we are checking the remaining number is near to which perfect cube. Remaining number is near to which perfect cube. So simply that is how you find out cube roots. So only two steps here. So in the case of square roots, we will get three steps. In the case of cube roots, we will get only two steps.